What's up, guys? We're back taking a look at some more NBA player props. We're on parlay play, but these props are available on prize picks, DFS player prop sites, sports books, pretty much everywhere. I'm just looking at these on parlay play because I think I found some really good value and some plays that I absolutely love today. I have one NBA play and one NFL play. We are on a 13 and 3 run in these free play videos. Let's go ahead and cash yet again today. Before we do hop in though and take a look at the player props that I'm loving, if you guys are not already on parlay play, you guys can join using promo code DUMG in the link down in my description below. With that promo code, you guys can get a first time deposit match up to one. $100. So again, promo code DUMG. Link for it is down my description below. But that being said, let's hop in and get to these free plays. But if you guys are not already in the dub club, I recommend joining because there is a two day free trial of my all access linked down in my description below. Again, a two day free trial. And we've been cashing constantly over in the dub club. You guys can see all of my NBA, my NFL entries, all those different things. My plays come from five different player prop sites, including prize picks, sleeper, underdog, parlay play, and chalkboard. So five different player prop sites for a bunch of different sports, but mainly the NBA and the NFL. If you don't know what dub club is though, it is a messaging service that sends all of my entries to you through the dub club app email telegram or discord there's a bunch of different ways to receive my plays no matter how you guys kind of want to receive them you guys can see right here that i'm reputable though that because my prize picks left time net winnings they were over five thousand dollars you guys can see right there the screenshot is from december 5th you guys can see my net winnings right there i've been profitable long term i've been on prize picks for probably about two years now start with, with about 100 bucks in my account man and i'm up over five thousand dollars as you guys can see right there that's straight from prize picks if you guys want to join like i said there is a two-day free trial linked down in my description below two days free you guys and get in on the all access and on top of that you guys can also get uh, my basketball player props five dollars off your first month so if you guys are only interested in the nba i recommend taking advantage of that five dollars off offer right there instead of the two-day free trial because you won't be able to get that with the two-day free trial so kind of keep that in mind both links are down my description below but let's hop in and get to these player props today we we'll start with the nba then hop into my nfl my nfl play by the way is a two unit play i'm absolutely loving that in the nfl if he and the other prop that i like cashes the one from yesterday that will be plus eight units units over in the dub club we will absolutely kill it if uh, those props end up cashing but that being said let's get into it play responsibly at your own risk give me a follow on twitter at dmg props join the free discord link is down description below and uh, i think that's pretty much it just leave a like and let's hop in first player prop that i like here we start with the nba category i'm gonna scroll down here until we can find the chicago bulls because i am liking kobe white today over 28 and a half pra and if you guys are have not seen what the slide the line promo is on parlay play it's a 20 dollars max one time every day you can slide the line so you can get kobe white down to, th to 27 and a half pra despite him being like a minus 135 over 28 and a half you can get him at a 27 and a half right there which is absurd on parlay play so that's kind of what the sideline promo is but kobe white here i like him over his 20 and half pra let me explain why though so let's take a look at the props.cash tool and why i like kobe white so much so this is what this game all looks like he's only over in seven out of 23 games however he is over this in four of his last four games he's over in four straight games but why is this it's because there is no zach levine zach levine is going to be out for about three to four weeks here and i think we can get some really nice value here on kobe white he's already been over against milwaukee this year with 34 which was without zach levine you can take a look at his games without him right here. Uh, he's had five games this year with 34, 33, 46, 34, and 29 PRA. So he's over this with, uh, you know, 33 plus in his last four, and then had 29 right there in OK against OKC. So he's over in every single game. But really, what I really like here with, about him without Zach Levine is the minutes. He's had 37 or more minutes in all of these games here, including 45 minutes last time against Milwaukee and 40 minutes against the Pelicans. He's been seeing an absurd amount of minutes here. So even just, let's factor in all the games here, not just games without, without Zach Levine. Let's find out how good he is in games where he's seen like, you know, 35 plus minutes. We'll go to 35 plus minutes here. In games where he's seen 35 plus minutes between these last two seasons, he's over in eight out of 11 games. But on top of that, let's take a look at the matchup here against Milwaukee. Milwaukee is a pretty good matchup for opposing point guards. You can just kind of see where they rank right there. That's fantasy score, but we'll dive into uh, just independent categories for PRA. So they allow the, th uh, the third most points per game to opposing point guards so far this year. How about the rebounds? They are definitely on the upper side right there, top 10 in rebounds allowed per game to opposing point guards. But now how about the assists? We do have to scroll down a little bit, but kind of right in the middle of the pack, allowing 8.85. Uh, opposing point guards have been very very good against Milwaukee that's kind of how you beat Milwaukee you saw Tyrese Halliburton do that in the uh, in season tournament Kobe White's not t Halliburton I'm not telling you guys that but I'm just saying a lot of opposing point guards have been very very good against Milwaukee and that's how you're able to beat Milwaukee so I think this offense has to kind of run through Kobe White just a little bit today you can kind of see uh, Brunson had 33 he did fall under his line but then Trey Young had 46 uh, Kyle Average just had 31 against this team AO had 26 against this team on the 30th. Tyus Jones had 36. Jordan Poole had 38. So a lot of these teams are very, very successful against Milwaukee here, at least opposing guards are. And I think that uh, can hopefully 
uh, you know, work for Kobe White today as well. I think he should have a great game here. I like his over 28 and a half PRA quite a bit. And that's the first player profit I'm rocking with. Let's hop in though to the NFL. Let's switch gears here and head over to the NFL, which is my favorite play uh, of the day. It's actually technically my second favorite play of the day. I posted Jalen Waddle yesterday. Now I'm rocking with Tua today. Both are two unit plays for me personally, but let's go with Tua here over his first half passing yards. You want to click on right here. It's a first half. And I like him over 143 and a half first half passing yards. This has been money for me. I've taken him, him and Jalen Waddle like just constantly this year. And it's cashed, I believe, all but one time. I mean, it's just an absurd player prop that's available every single week that the Dub Club members have been cashing out on. If you're an OG member of my Dub Club, you know about this year. Tua over 143 and a half first half passing yards here. I'm expecting a yet another win in here from Tua in the first half. Let's take a look at this over on props.cash. By the way, I didn't even say this earlier, but if you guys like what you see in this props.cash tool, you guys love this. I personally have been using it for over two years now. I absolutely love the tool. You guys can check out props.cash for yourself. Link is down in my description below and use promo code DOMG for 25% off of your first month. That's absurd. 25% off with promo code DOMG. Link is down in my description below. But Tua here, I really love him today. He's over his full game passing yards in only five out of 12 games. However, let's take a look at the first half where he is over in 10 out of 12. Huge difference there. Sportsbooks do not have first half player prop lines like a player like Tua. So what happens is these DFS player prop sites, all they do is they slice the full game in half. They don't really factor in that the Dolphins are winning a lot of games and not throwing as much in the second half, which is why his full game line is so high at 290 and a half. Yet his first half line, he's over in 10 out of 12 games because these DFS player prop sites, they don't adjust to that. So it gives you so much value in these first half categories. It's the same way in the NBA. There's so much value here, especially in the NFL when it comes to first half player props. I've been doing it for years now on prize picks. I'm doing it on parlay play now, able to cash out huge last week, by the way, as well. But with that being said, hopefully you guys understand my reasoning here. He's over 10 out of 12. But how about games when the Dolphins win? How about the games when the Dolphins win? They are massive favorites here against Tennessee. So in games where he's actually won, he's over in every single game. He's over in nine out of nine games this year when the Dolphins win. I think everyone and their mother thinks the Dolphins are going to win today. Probably even some of the Tennessee Titans think that. Uh, but he's over in 68%, by the way, in between these last two seasons. But look at how many games in a row he was able to, you know, cash this out, man. I mean, he's just been absolutely absurd. I uh, just freaking love Tua today, man. I think he's going to be in a great spot because not only is he over in all these games, as you guys can see, but uh, it's also a pretty nice matchup here against Tennessee. Let's take a look at opposing quarterbacks against the Tennessee Titans. Let's scroll down here. They're kind of right in the middle of the pack, allowing 249.3 passing yards per game they are definitely on the easier side it looks like i don't even know what the exact number is they're allowing probably about the 12th most i think that is uh opposing quarterback uh passing yards per game so i think it's a great spot here for Tua, man i mean he's over just constantly when they win he's over constantly even when they lose and this is an amazing matchup for him so i don't see any reason why he would miss this here you can take a look he only had 29 snaps right there against them um with 17 passing attempts when you saw them what was that? i guess last season uh but that i'm not really super worried about that really at all personally i mean that's what right there they also lost the senate to tennessee that game by the way and tennessee is just not the same team that they were uh so i think Tua's in a great spot man i really do love Tua in uh this game here so you can also take a look by the way at his first half pass passing yards when winning at halftime so take a look at winning at halftime i mean it just looks even better over at 81 percent of games when the dolphins are winning at halftime i freaking love this player prop i'm hoping it catches yet again here i it's just it's been money every week for me at this point man i've just freaking loved Tua here you also bump this down using side the line promo by the way if you did not use it on kobe white you can bump it down to 141 so two to play for me easily there i just freaking love Tua today maybe i even make it two and a half units i mean we'll see depending on how i am for pairs today so I freaking love this player prop. I just want to share it with you guys in the free plays, and uh, I think it hopefully cashes, man. If you guys want to join the Dub Club, there is even more crazy value like that over there. You guys can join uh, with the link down in the description below. $5 off your first month of basketball, or you guys can get a two-day free trial. Either way, that will work. But uh, also, if you guys want to take a look at another player prop research tool, share the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer and the Correlation Tool. This tool right here is called the Optimizer. It's in the Fantasy Bundle, which is three tools wrapped into one. They have the Optimizer, Fantasy Score Projections, and a DFS Middling Tool all wrapped into one. But this right here is Optimizer. What this does is it finds the best expected value plays on sites like Prize Picks, Underdog, Parlay Play, Flip Sleeper, all these different player prop sites. All you have to do to find the best expected value plays is click the Refresh button. And when you press the Refresh button, it pulls up the best expected value plays on that player prop site. So right now, there's some really nice value here in the NHL with William Nylander under uh, four shots on goal. And if you guys need to find like a last leg for like a two pick power play or five pick, six pick flex, you guys can go ahead and do that right there with the filter. Uh, if you guys want to check out this tool, you know, fancy bundle link is down in my description below with my promo link. You guys can see right here all, uh, all the different pricing options, but there's also a correlation tool sold separately, which is the money maker of these bundles for sure, man. So a correlation tool here up 626.4 units since August 18th. 
that is insane how good this tool is, man. They cashed some 25Xs, I believe, uh, you know, just on this past Sunday slate, so yesterday. Uh, but if you guys don't know what this tool is, and it's a correlation tool, so it finds correlated plays. So, for example, there's some correlated plays right now on prize picks in the Titans-Dolphins game here. So, for example, if Tua goes over his passing yards, there's a good chance that, you know, Tyreek Hill and Waddle will go over the receiving targets. And if Levis goes over his passing yards, it's going to equate to DeAndre Hopkins and Nick Westbrook-Akine uh, also getting some of the receiving yards as well. So, that's kind of what the correlation tool does. It finds correlated plays like that, and it just has proven results. You guys can see right there, 626.4 units. Uh, but just Go ahead and click on DFS correlation. As you guys can see right there, this tool is definitely on the more expensive side. But if something you guys can afford and something that you're interested in, the link for it is down in my description below. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Peace out, guys, and thank you for watching. Best luck with your player props tonight. Play responsibly, and let's hopefully cash out on some Dolphins props tonight.